Alright fuckers, welcome back to Son of Scotland 90 and I've done it guys, I decided to finally buy Total Extreme Wrestling 2016, I know I said I wasn't going to, I was planning on finishing my original series with 2 2013 but, you know, I just felt that with the game coming out, it was the right time to make the switch, you know, the game lasts, it comes out every 3 years so I thought, you know, the quicker I buy it the, the more, um, you know, time and play and stuff that we can get out of it and to be honest when everyone's uploading 2016 content and you know from the game and you're playing 2013 it's you know, it's not that great and I do think the other series was becoming a little bit stale so sadly, sadly <laughs> we're going to just uh, that series is just going to be disbanded and uh, we're going to be starting a new series here on Total Extreme Wrestling 2016 Brand Wars and what I'm going to be doing is basically just using the format that WWE went for in real life at the moment. We're going to be doing a brand split. When I'm Raw and SmackDown, I'm going to be separate shows. I'm going to be keeping Raw three hours, keeping SmackDown two hours. Um, each show is going to have eight pay per views of their own, and obviously the four major pay per views will be joint. We're going to have a brand split on our first show on Raw, but I don't want to give too much away, guys. We'll be using the up-to-date rosters as of July, but right now I just want to get into this game and I want to show you some of the new, you know, updates, some of the new features. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we have the home page and, you know, this is where a lot of important stuff, goes. well not important stuff, but amazing. not really nothing to do with your company here, it's mostly just the news and it is kind of the same as last time. So you can see news, diary, company wars, you know, it's basically... Although this time around, New Japan Pro Wrestling seemed to be above Impact, which is, you know, not really a surprise since Impact over the last three years have dropped uh, hugely, like I suppose. So at TNA Impact, they're down to a regional size, but more or less the same here. We've got the Power 500, it's the top 500 wrestlers in the world. And you can see a lot of our WWE guys are on this, which is good. And we've got Hall of Immortals, uh, it's like Legends kind of wrestling, and we've got Hall of Fame. Not quite sure what the difference is actually, yeah, it's the DOS. That's actual Hall of Fames, whereas this one's just kind of like, you know, people that are considered Legends, like, in 2, I believe, so, yeah. Whereas that one's actually people that have been inducted, so, um, put the end of year awards. AJ Styles won that in 2015, and then we've got Most Popular, I'm not quite sure what this is. Ah, so it's basically just telling us who the most popular. Well, should, probably should have guessed that. And apparently it's Brock Lesnar. And it's mostly WWE guys. I mean, you have to go down to number 9 until we get a non WWE guy, which is great. Mysterio. So, well, if I'm um, sort of that, you've got your emails as usual, um, a notepad, and stuff like that. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, uh, sore throat at the moment, can hardly speak, but stick with me. Uh, we'll be starting this series, by the way, in week one of July 2016, just for anybody that wants to know. So here we go, this is where all this shit happens. I've picked Vince McMahon because he's the owner, and I thought, you know, I don't want to be getting fired or shit. I want this series to run quite a long time, so we've went McMahon, bitches. We've got full control over what we do. So here you've got the creative management, external business, and you know how it works, guys. You've probably watched my videos before or watched someone else's videos before. You know how all this works. I've got the titles, um, the champions, I've got Miz, Rusev, New Day, Charlotte, and Dean Ambrose. So, that's that. Um, Storylines and shit, we haven't got any yet. The roster, haven't, um, haven't got a roster yet. We've got people here that need assigned a gimmick or assigned a position on the roster. We'll look into that. We've got the other companies here. We've got all the wrestlers here. Blah, 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 blah. And here we go. And just the entire game population. And we've got options. So, there you go. You can actually see, basically, which is more or less the same, but they've had it in a lot. We've got figurehead here. You can pick the number one guy. So, this is like the face of the WWE. And then. Um, you currently don't have a figurehead, so you do not get associated advantages or disadvantages. And what we're going to do is, I'm actually going to pick a figurehead because I do believe we should have one. 
And let's have a look at the options here. Del Rio is very close to being a potential figurehead, but isn't quite there. You feel with his um, ability and, you know, his Mexican, you know, that shite Latino background, it would benefit from having him, but he's a boring piece of shit, so we're not going to pick him. Bray Wyatt has good qualities, but ultimately is lacking too much to be a successful figurehead. Dean Ambrose isn't quite there, overshadowed. Poor choice. John Cena has all the essential things. Possibly injury prone and has an average gimmick. Well, we're not going to check anyone else. We're going to be going with John Cena. And we'll maybe change this down the line. But for now, he's the figurehead. He has been the face. It's realistic that we select him. So yeah, John Cena is the new figurehead of WWE. And what else do we need to look at here? Have a look at the calendar. I can find it. For fuck's sake, where is it? Um... Calendar should be here somewhere. Where the fuck is it? Oh god, I can't find it. Jesus, schedule. Unless I'm looking at the wrong thing. So there you can see this the schedule. But Raw, Superstars main event, and uh, SmackDown. So basically, just like Philosophy and Heat back in the day, in this brand split, main event will be the B show for SmackDown and Superstars will be the B show for Raw. So that's how we're going to work it. Now, coming in here, I've already added a paper few. Now, I'm not going to add all them all in because I don't know which ones I want. But I have an added in Armageddon. Which I think we're going to have as a Smackdown paper food. But what I've noticed is you can't change the importance. So I suppose the importance is just something that happens. You know, the, the better the event is. Obviously the importance will go up or down if it's not a success. Or, you know, blah, blah, blah. So rather than give Smackdown or Raw all the new ones. I think that would be unfair. So I'm going to try and mix them. Since I'm going to be adding in like eight new pay per views. I'll try and give four of the new ones to Smackdown. And four of the new ones to Raw. Now, we're going to be just switching between the third week and fourth week. And, um, yeah, you could argue that maybe it'd be simpler if we kept, like, maybe all Raw on the fourth week of the month and then all SmackDown on the third week. But I'd like to mix up a bit. So sometimes there's going to be five weeks between a pay-per-view. Sometimes there's going to be three and blah, blah, blah. So the, four, the two pay-per-views coming this month are Armageddon and Battleground. And like I say, Armageddon will be a SmackDown pay-per-view and Battleground will be a raw pay-per-view and um, for now that is about it so I'll just tell you the plan that I have for raw obviously the first raw and first smackdown of the series are going to feature both brands all members and then it'll be the second week of booking which will have the the you know individual brand split rosters what we're, what we're going to do for well, you know what, guys, I could explain that, but I think I'll actually explain what we're doing on the first Raw. We're going to have, we're going to be a special guest. He's going to come out and explain that, and I'll probably leave that until then. But basically, you get the drift. This is going to be 2016 2 Total Extreme Wrestling Brand Wars Smackdown taking on Raw. I'm going to be booking both shows. This series is going to be finished. It's going to be very good. I'm going to put a lot of effort into it, and I hope you enjoy it. I will be maybe making it customizable. I'm thinking about bringing back some of the pay-per-views like Cyber Sunday. And you guys can have a full in what happens. But also, if you want to leave comments down below, I'll take everything into consideration. But anyway, guys, thanks for just watching this part one, this introduction. And until next time, guys, we will be back with Raw. It's going to be a huge show. So make sure you check in to see it. Thanks for watching. And until then, guys, peace.